I've always heard that the engineering program at Old Dominion was top notch. All the professors are really great. They really listen to the students and they really work hand in hand with them, not just in the classroom. Eric Gonzalez has a lot to be grateful for. When he graduated in December, the Navy veteran and married father of a two-year-old walked away with more than a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. After wrestling with multiple job offers, he left ODU with a secure job as a systems engineer for Lockheed Martin in Orlando, Florida, where he will work on F-35 fighter jets. Multiple job offers, I thought it was a little unreal at first, but it was all that hard work I put in, not only on all my studies, but all the internships I put in over the summers and all the applicable experience that I gained through those internships that really gained me the opportunity to not just have one job lined up after school, but multiple. How did he do it all? A husband, father, and full-time student who, during some of his time at ODU, even worked full-time as an aviation technician, yet managed to also find time to serve as president of the ODU chapter of the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers and attend national conferences to make the connections he needed to land the internships at companies like Dominion Energy and Boeing. I was very thankful to have a very supportive wife who took care of my son and took care of me. I had to sacrifice a lot, I had to give up, you know, social life, I had to give up a lot of sleep, a lot of free time, but I was really dedicated into to going to school. I originally joined the military so I could go to school, so I was going to do everything I can to succeed. Eric's incredible commitment started way before his time at ODU. As the third child in his family to go to college within the same time span, the Las Vegas native knew that paying for college would be tough for his parents, and he wanted to spare them the expense. I knew being the third child, it was a little tight for my parents to support three students in college, so I knew it was on myself to go out there and gain the ability to go to school. So coming out of high school, I joined the Navy in order to one, gain access to go back to school and two, to serve my country. Eric spent six years in the Navy as an aviation electrician. His first assignment brought him to Norfolk where he met his wife. He was later stationed in San Diego from where he was deployed twice to the Persian Gulf. It didn't take long for Eric to discover that he had a passion for aviation. I feel like everything happens for a reason because once I got into that job, I, I fell in love with it. I knew that there was other aspects to it in the civilian world. So once I separated from, from the military, I wanted to continue that role in, in working on aircraft. And I knew engineering was going to give me the, the best possibility to, to fulfill that. As for how Eric feels about how ODU prepares engineering students, Engineering students, I feel, are very well equipped to, to succeed, and I've enjoyed working not only with the, the faculty and the teachers, but the other students here as well. Everybody takes great pride in their work and, and their engineering projects. For the Batten College of Engineering and Technology, this is Keith Pierce.